Today, the Trekkers are taking you into downtown Richmond, where there's a very special building right in the middle of all those skyscrapers. It's the White House of the Confederacy. I'm David. I'm Frank. And I'm Brad. And, and we're, we're Virginia, Virginia Trekkers. Trekkers. And we're here today at downtown Richmond at the White House of the Confederacy. We're here at the home of Jefferson Davis, who was the president of the Confederacy during the Civil War. This is where his family lived during that time period. This is going to be a really quick podcast. We're just going to show you around the outside of the building and show you some really cool primary resources from the Civil War. So if you're ready to see some really cool stuff and really heavy stuff, let's go track it. All right, All right let's go. Jefferson Davis was the president of the Confederacy during the Civil War. And actually, his first White House was Montgomery, Alabama, because that's where the capital of the Confederacy was. Then in 1861, when the capital moved to Richmond, he moved into the current White House of the Confederacy, where the Trekkers are today. And there was actually one more White House of the Confederacy in Danville, Virginia, where Jefferson Davis had to go at the end of the war when Richmond burned in 1865. Well, let's go take a tour of the White House of the Confederacy in Richmond, Virginia. This is a really, really cool place. Huge structures, huge columns, big, huge windows. I can imagine during the Civil War time that this would be a great place for entertaining. The Davis family also experienced a tragedy on this porch. One of their sons, Joseph, tragically died when he fell off of the railing here and fell to the ground. Uh, you can see his gravesite and the gravesite of Jefferson Davis in our Hollywood Cemetery podcast. I'm going to walk right over here and we're going to meet up with Brad and Brad's going to tell you what has changed around this place. Now, boys and girls, remember, during the Civil War period, that's the, those are the years 1861 to 1865. Okay, so if Jefferson Davis was coming out of his, of his uh, door outside of his porch, he would probably see a lot of wide open space during that time period. Here you can see what the house looked like during the Civil War. Boys and girls, that's not what it looks like out here today. We've had a lot of changes over time since the Civil War. And David's going to show you by paying the camera. We're right next to uh, MCV, the Medical College of Virginia, and the VCU, Virginia's Commonwealth University. There's also a garden out here in the back. The Capitol of the Confederacy is right here to my left. And right out here in this courtyard, we have three really cool primary resources. The first one is the propeller shaft from the USS Virginia, also known as the Merrimack. Remember, the Merrimack was one of the first ironclad ships. And this thing is absolutely huge, and it was created in the 1800s. And it's solid. The Battle of the Monitor and Merrimack, also known as the Battle of the Ironclads, took place in March 1862 in Hampton Roads, Virginia. Neither side won the battle, but later on that year, the Merrimack, which was the Virginia ship, was destroyed by the Confederate troops to protect it from being taken by the Union troops. All right, Frank just showed you the propeller shaft from the USS uh, Merrimack or the Virginia. This is the anchor from the same ship, the Ironclad. And you can see, it's gigantic. Okay, boys and girls, what you're looking at right here is the anchor chain on a ship called the USS Cumberland. The USS Cumberland was the first ship that the Merrimack ever sunk during battle in the Civil War. Now why is this anchor a primary resource? Because I can actually touch it. This is the original anchor that came with the ship. This is not a replica or a copy. This is the actual one that came with the ship. So remember, a primary resource is something that's original or it came exactly with the ship. The White House of the Confederacy was abandoned on April 2nd, 1865, and that's when the Union soldiers took over Richmond. Boys and girls, we hope you enjoyed your tour and to check out some of these primary resources. Come on down here and see for yourself. And if you would like to see more podcasts, be sure to check out VirginiaTrekkers.com.